Uh, Mr. Soma, good afternoon to you. Indeed, a pleasure to have you on the show. Thanks for taking the time to be with us. Uh, so let me just first start with the pricing aspect because uh, just yesterday you increased our prices by around 320 rupees a ton, I believe. Uh, just tell us how things stand in terms of pricing. We've seen a sharp downside. Uh, now this is one of the first price increases that we've seen in recent uh, months. Uh, you see, we have started a new price uh, determination regime from 1st of April 2010. Our previous uh, system of pricing, this expired on 31st March 2010, so we had to introduce a new system. And the system obviously is primarily based on the benchmark pricing system for our export to Japan and South Korea. But then we have introduced a number of new elements to ensure that the domestic market the domestic market, that means mainly the steel makers, are given certain relief. And we, we introduce separate set of norms for the domestic producers. And the price which we determine in the domestic market are not really identical, are not really 100% benchmarked on the export prices. So consequently, you know, you said 340 rupees increase in the price of fines. Okay, in the case of price of fines, the whatever the provisional price we had, we had announced for 1st of April, <clears throat> that was 2,600 rupees per ton. That has gone up to 2,940 rupees per ton. But in case of all types of lump, the price has practically come down from what was announced on a provisional basis when we expected the price rise will be about 70%. Now, despite the fact that the price rise has taken place at the rate of 99.67% during our last negotiation with Japan, the prices for lump has come down, ranging from 100 rupees to around 300 rupees, and the price of fines have increased by about 340 rupees per ton. So this has been done, keeping in view the requirement of the domestic industry. Okay, so prices of lumps have come down, iron ore fines have gone up. Uh, so from NMDC's earnings perspective, sir, how should we analyze it? What is the mix for you? Uh, and then what does this mean in terms of your own earnings? Uh, we feel that overall, since the prices have gone up really, overall, even the provisional price which we had decided with effect from 1st of April, which now stands modified retrospectively from 1st of April, represented an increase of about 65 to 70% increase. So therefore, we feel that in the current quarter, the final reports have not come, but there will be about 62-65% increase in our revenue and, your, and our profit, almost to that extent. So that's what we are calculating, and we will come out with the final figures shortly. Uh, so just one clarification in your earlier uh, comment, you said that these prices won't be benchmarked to export pricing. What did you mean by that? Uh, you're not benchmarking your prices to uh, exports on the quarterly uh, contracts? Uh, yeah, yeah. What happens, you know, we, we export to Japan and South Korea and the price which we draw for exporting to Japan and South Korea, this is an international benchmark price. Almost the same price is applicable for Rio Tinto and BHP Billiton. The same price is applicable almost, not fully, for exporters from Valle in uh, Brazil. So traditionally, an MDC's price is benchmarked, domestic price is benchmarked on the international prices which is based on the export price to Japan and South Korea. As you know, the Chinese export is mainly on spot, whereas Japanese export is on long term. So from that, from that FOB price in dollar which you derive, traditionally we derive the domestic price at the pit head by converting the dollar into rupee and taking off from that the expenses which we incur for exporting from mine to the port. Now, this time what we have done, we have added some more elements for deduction. For example, royalties we have started deducting. We have given some sort of royalty bonus to long-term customers. In fact, during the last board meeting which held day before yesterday, we have offered an additional um, um, uh, discount of 5% in addition to the 5% royalty bonus which we are giving to the customers. So consequently, despite the fact that the prices have gone up, in the international market by 99.67%. Our prices, if you compare the prices as applicable on 31st March 2010, it has gone up by about 50 to 60%. So that way, to a large extent, we have absorbed the price rise so that the domestic steel industry is insulated to some extent from the volatility of the price rise in the international market.